Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News, and for the second time in six months, a portable nuclear device has gone missing in Pennsylvania. Now the first one was eventually found, it was more or less misplaced, but this second one, uh, which is used in construction, was reported missing Friday according to the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection uh, more details on this. Uh, the DEP said the missing nuclear gauge contains sealed sources of radioactive material belonging to a construction company in Harleysville, which is a suburb of Philadelphia. The device was secured in a car when it was stolen. The vehicle has been recovered, but the device was no longer inside and may have been discarded, uh, according to the DEP. And now the state agency warns that if this device is badly damaged, there is potential for damage to the radioactive source and spread of contamination. Now this nuclear device is a Troxler Model 3440, and construction companies use these things to evaluate if there are radioactive materials at job sites. Now the Troxler gauge contains cesium-137, and Americium or Americium 241. According to the DEP, anyone who finds the gauge should not handle it directly, but rather maintain distance, limit time of proximity, and immediately contact local authorities or the DEP Southeast Regional Office at 484-250-5900, and a trained individual will recover the gauge. So the question is, was this thing stolen, folks? Or was it misplaced like the first one was? I can almost swear I've heard of something like this happening within the last couple of years. Uh, and what would someone's intention be with this if they were to uh, steal it? Uh, I don't think there's anything here that would that would be significantly serious as far as radiation leaks. But then again, I don't know. I don't use these things, these things. But if it was taken, who would take it? Why would they take it? Would I uh, be terribly concerned about this? No, I would not. But I will leave you a link to the original article. Uh, please like this video. Please share. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications of new uploads. Most importantly of all, my friends, in these end times, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.